Welcome in everybody to the KC Sports Report. I'm your host Michael Darcy and today I'm going to break down the Kansas City Chiefs extending running back Damian Williams. So Chiefs Kingdom NFL free agency started just a few moments ago and we already have some Chiefs news. The Kansas City Chiefs have opted to pick up Damian Williams contract for the 2020 NFL season. According to Ian Rappaport, he will make $2.3 million in 2020. And you know, Chiefs Kingdom, I am an absolute huge fan of this move because I think that the Chiefs needed a cheap option at running back. I don't think that this is the right year to go out and draft one, especially when you got other needs on defense and O-line issues. So I think that the Chiefs are not looking to draft a running back, and that's why they brought back Williams. And also... I mean, Williams severely outperforms that contract. I mean, it might not seem like it in the regular season, but when it comes playoff time, he is a different person. I mean, he was an absolute unstoppable force in the playoffs in both years. And and that's just a guy that you want on your team when the games matter and you got to get those yards. He's that guy. But the big reason why I like this signing is because, as we all know, this is a pass-first offense. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is going to basically just throw the ball 30 to 40 times a game and not run the ball as much. And Williams is a very versatile back. I mean, he can catch it out of the backfield. Um, he can run routes, and he can carry it a few times. But just the fact that you can use him as a receiver, I mean, it's going to be huge going forward. So I'm a big fan that the Chiefs brought back Damian Williams. I think that he will have a great season in 2020. So also, Chiefs Kingdom, we got some news out of the Chris Jones debate. Uh, The Chiefs have put Chris Jones on a non-exclusive franchise tag. That means that it results in a one-year deal, guaranteed contract offer from the club to the player for a set based amount on position. And uh, in the past, this was calculated by the averaging salaries of the five highest paid players. And so I think that's how they're going to do it. But just to see Chris Jones uh, remain with the team is huge. But I don't exactly know if he's going to stay because they might try to trade him for a first round draft pick. And I wouldn't necessarily be against that because at this point, I don't think the Chiefs can afford to bring him back to a long term deal. I mean, also bringing in some more news. Uh, The NFL CBA was announced a few days ago, and uh, the payroll for the Chiefs is $198 million. I I believe that's correct. So, I mean, that means you're going to have to really do some negotiating and stuff to get all these good players back and fit into that new salary cap. So, I think that Chris Jones is likely going to stay here for now, but, I mean, who knows? Mid-season, they might get a good deal or something of that nature. We're just going to keep an open mind and... uh, So let me know in the comments what you guys think. In my opinion, I am a huge fan of the signing of Damian Williams, and I think that this franchise tag of Chris Jones is a good thing in the moment, and I think that if the Chiefs can get the money, I think that they will intend on signing him. So thank you everybody for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys like these videos and want to support me, go click the link in the description and go support me on my Patreon. I would more than appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the KC Sports Report by Michael Darcy.